<clears throat> now I've been doing a lot of videos about Islam as a pretext before I talk about that psychopath that murdered 50 people for no reason. What this is the what does the Quran say about Jesus? Right? The New Testament was written by multiple different authors and it was inspired not dictated. Um, and they were recalling events that had happened and things that stuck in their mind. So it's not going to 100% jive because different writers and these were people writing it. Kron, remember, is said to be 100% pure, given by God through Angel Jabrail and unchanged. So in Surah 3, in the middle of talking about pagans and Moses, we get this ayah. Behold, Allah said, Jesus, I will take you and raise you to myself and clear you of falsehoods of those who blaspheme. I will make those who follow you superior to those who reject faith to the day of resurrection. Then you shall return to me, and I will judge between you of the matters within wherein you dispute which means that uh, until the rise of Islam Christianity was right right whatever I've heard people say that argument <coughs> and then <coughs> then there's nothing more about Christianity or Christ except a little bit of the people of the book now <coughs> here's from Surah 4 This is Gnostic, um, and this is the main belief that informs what Muslims say about Jesus. <clears throat> that they said in boast, we killed Christ, Jesus, the son of Mary, messenger of Allah, but they did not kill him nor crucify him, <clears throat> but so is made to appear to them. And those who differ therein are full of doubts, with no certain knowledge, only conjecture, follow for surety they did not kill him. Nay, Allah raised him up to himself. Allah exalted in power and wise. And there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him before his death and on the day of judgment he will witness against them. What? Yeah, right. And blasphemy, indeed, those who say that God is Christ, the Son of Mary, say those who has least power against the law, if his will were to destroy Christ, the Son of Mary, his mother, and all, everyone on, that is on earth. For Allah belongs <coughs> the dominion of the heavens and the earth and all that is in between. He creates what he pleases for Allah has power over all things. Both the Christians and the Jews say we are the sons of God and his beloved. Say, why then does he punish you for your sins? Nay, but you are but men. Of men you were, you, he has created. He, has, he, he forgives those whom he pleases and punishes those who he pleases. To Allah belongs dominions of heaven and earth and all of this between. Again, totally misunderstanding the term children of God, son of God, and what Christians and Jews mean by calling themselves children of God. And this is Surah 5, the table spread. <clears throat> Let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. If any fail to judge by the light of what Allah has revealed, they are no better than those who rebel. And we know that the gospel, the New Testament, is exactly the same word for word as it was in the 6th century. Because we have copies from the 6th century, 5th century, 4th century. Even ones in Arabic. So, that, didn't that kind of contradict it, right? But, here's the, um, here's the kicker. Oh, sorry, before we get to the kicker, um, just a little side note. Say, O oh, people of the book, 
you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand fast by the law and the gospel. All the revelation has come to you from the Lord. Right. But here's more quasi-Gnostic stuff, and this is from the Infancy Gospel of Thomas. Um, then Allah said, O Jesus, Son of Mary, recount my favor to you and to your mother. Behold, I strengthened you with the Holy Spirit so that you spoke to people in childhood and maturity. Behold, I taught you the book of wisdom and the law and the gospel. Behold, you made out of clay as were a figure of a bird. By my leave, you breathed into it, and it became a bird And by my leave. And you healed those born blind and lepers by my leave. And behold, you brought forth dead by my leave. So he raised the dead. And the clay pigeons is from the story, uh, um, infancy gospel of Thomas. Behold, the disciples said, O Jesus, Son of Mary, can your Lord send down to us a table sent from heaven? Jesus said, Fear Allah if you have faith. And they said, We only wish to eat that which to satisfy our hearts. And uh, this is the Eucharist, basically. But that's not getting into really about Jesus. So let's go on to the kick. Well, well, let's continue on where it goes with talks about Jesus. This is a Basilinian Valentinian view down here in Aya 16, 116. And behold, Allah, Allah will say, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to men, worship me and my mother as gods in uh, degradation of Allah? Nobody worshiped Mary as a god. Only the Coloridians, which didn't exist at the time of the rise of Islam, that's why we know this is older. Um, or they're referencing Sophia. He will say, Glory to you, I never say what I had no right to say. Had I said such thing, you would indeed have known it. You know what is in my heart, <clears throat> though I do not know what is in yours. For you are full of that is full of all that is hidden. Never said I to them anything except you, except what you commanded me to say to wit worship Allah my Lord your Lord and I witness over them whilst I dwell amongst them when you took me up you were watcher over me and you were witness to all things if you punish them they are your servants if you forgive them you are the exalted in power and wise now for the kicker Peace be on him, speaking of Jesus, peace be on him the day he was born, the day he dies, and the day he will be raised to life again. Um, and in older versions it says resurrected. The newer versions don't have that because they realize, oh, there's a discrepancy. And there's another time in Surat Miriam uh, that says this, 1933. So peace be on me. The day I was born, the day that I, that I will die, uh, the day that I die, and the day I will be raised up to life again. Such was Jesus, son of Mary. It is a statement about truth which they vainly dispute. It is not befitting to the majesty of Allah that he should beget a son. Again, not understanding what only eternally begotten Son of God means, or even the term Son of God and how Christians use it and Jews use it. Glory be to him when he determines matter. He only says, it be and it is. And you'll see this, the day that I was born, the day that I will die, and the day that I was resurrected. It appears more throughout the Quran. Right, and there's there's many more verses about Jesus calling him the Spirit of God, the Light of God, the Word of God, the Logos, literally the Logos. Um, 
in uh, the nearest to God, the Messiah, the Christ, uh, so is the Quran consistent? Well, it's not consistent about whether he was die whether he died. People say the Muslims came up with this new thing, which they've only been spouting for thirty years, maybe forty, if now probably about twenty, thirty years. That when on the day of resurrection, when Christ comes back, then he'll die, and then he'll be raised up to life again. Because remember, in Islam, Christ ushers in the second coming. There is the second coming of Christ. He's the one that ushers in the apocalypse. It's not Muhammad. Uh, I mean, so after the day of resurrection, there's still going to be death, especially for somebody who is sinless, like Jesus, who is the Word of God, the Light of God, the Spirit of God, and the Holy Spirit was with him, and he was born of a virgin. And he performed all these miracles like creating doves out of clay and um, resurrecting the dead and healing the blind, according to the Quran. What? So it's not consistent. Um, the Quran is probably mostly the work of the Nasrins, who claim to have been given a book sent down from heaven by a 50 foot tall angel, um, and then a smattering, a splattering of various uh, parts of the Targum. Um, Gnostic Gospels, heretical Gospels, non-canonical Gospels, some canonical Gospels, um, and then, as I showed before, um, events like uh, the massacre of the Christians by the Jews at Nadron, the story of the, uh, the um, seven holy sleepers, which is the story of, which is the sewer of the cave. Um, the fable of the elephants, uh, the Ethiopians riding on elephants to sack the Kaaba and birds dropping stones. Um, the, I believe it's um, uh, an apocryphal account of David where he hid in a cave and a spider came by and put a web over it. Or maybe it's actually in the Bible. But that gets attributed to be Muhammad hid in a cave and a spider wove a web. But you see, this is a one-sided dialogue, really. So all the surah is a game of telephone lasting like 10 generations that then creeps up around and it tries to explain all this stuff and you can't explain the verse where it said uh, and the Christians will be the most righteous and the most uh, superior people until the coming of Christ now until the Muslims came around with um, the Quran, which talks about Jesus far more than it talks about supposedly Muhammad, uh, the Christians were the only ones who were believing in Jesus. So they had the correct religion, which is the exact same religion that Eastern Orthodox is, because we had six of the seven ecumenical accounts, or five, five of the ecumenical councils already happened before Islam rose up. But it boggles the mind how they get terms like begotten, only begotten Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, uh, children of God, Son of God, how they get these so wrong. And no Christian at this time believed Mary was a goddess. That was actually condemned. I mean, nobody ever believed it. It didn't really need to be condemned, but it was considered a, a first of all, a blasphemy and a slander against the Theotokos. This was totally hashed out it, uh, at the Council of Ephesus centuries before the rise of Islam. So we see remnants of just smatterings of things that got woven into poetry. So... What's the, what does the Quran say about Jesus? It's inconsistent, just like it's inconsistent about what it says about the Christians. That they're the best people, and the closest to the Muslims, and better than the Jews and the pagans. And then it says declare war on them. So, when somebody tells you, well, the Quran says that Jesus did, wasn't crucified, say, yeah, that's true. And then it says, in seven other places, that he was died and resurrected. 
and it's only one verse where it says he only appeared to be crucified. But then again, since the crown was originally in Syro-Aramaic, we know that it wasn't originally Arabic, uh, it was probably the the uh, the docetic view or the illusionist view where or the adoptionist view where the Christ wasn't crucified but Jesus was so the, the Logos left the man Jesus and the man was crucified and then the Logos returned to his body to resurrect him so there's no consistent view of Jesus you can't get a consistent view of him and he just utters uh, rhetoric there's no personality to him just utters the ideology of Islam and every speaker in the Quran sounds exactly the same whether it's Moses, Jesus, Abraham they're all the same